okay, this is going to be an updated version of my 10 bad Mohawk questions. Um, I have had some audio video issues, but I think I have that solved now. So um, let's give this one last try. Um, I want to thank again uh, my friend Calpurnia Adams. She has a 15 bad questions not to ask a transgender person. Um, and you can find that on her channel, I believe, which is Calpurnia, youtube.com slash Calpurnia. Um, otherwise, um, here goes my 10 questions for my mohawk. Um, is that your real hair? This is the most common question that people are asked. That people ask me, sorry. I told you I'm not an actor. Um, so bear with me. Um, I usually say, yes, dum dum, it's my real hair. But I prefer to say something smart like, no, I shaved your mom's beaver and super glued it to my head. Um, question number two, how do you sleep with that? Um, my fun revised answer is I use one of those dog cones to sleep with so that it doesn't get messed up. Um, question number three, is that your real hair color? Uh, revised answer, uh, yes, I'm from Mars. My real natural hair color is purple. <laughs> no, dum-dum, <laughs> it's not purple. My real hair color is brown, like on the sides. Duh. Um, oh well. Uh, do you do that? Question number four. Do you do that every single day? No. I only do it when the moon has reached its fourth aquinox around Mars. Yes, I do it every day. Uh, question five. What product do you use to stand that up with? Um, a valid question, I guess, for those that are interested in hair. And, uh, you know, it is quite a feat standing up this much hair. So, um, a valid question. But my fun um, mockery type of answer is, um, it's horse cum. I, uh, I, I stick my head between his legs and blow him, and then he shoots a big load all over my hair. Stands up great, see? Um, question six, are you trying to make a statement? Do you do that for attention? Um, actually, I'm kind of shy. Quit talking to me. No, I'm not shy. And I'm actually not making a specific statement with my hair. It's just a creative expression that is quite often misunderstood in public. So, um, and it's not really done for attention purposes. It's actually... Um, connected to my spirituality and, and for those of you who know me that are watching this um, you'll understand that if you don't know me then you probably won't understand that and that's okay uh, anyway getting back to uh, the questions number seven like oh my god I used to see that hair color on punk rockers in the 80s says the old troll <laughs> thanks for the education but uh, I already knew that, and I didn't really need the education. Uh, it has nothing to do with the time period. It's an expression of 2010 that Photo Larry has made, um, and therefore it has nothing to do with the 80s. So um, thanks for the statement, but um, wherever you get your learning from, uh, I really don't care. <laughs> um, Question number eight. Aren't you similar to this previous question? Aren't you too old to have a mohawk? This is usually like, you know, somebody in their 20s and they think that, you know, because I'm in my 30s that that's too old to have a mohawk, that, you know, I should be like a teenager and a punk rocker that, you know, I'm too old to have a mohawk. Um, yes, I'm too old to have a mohawk. I'm 85. Um, question number nine. Is that a weave? Usually asked by my black girlfriends on the, the train. 
um, similar to the first question of is it's real, if it's real. And uh, the answer usually, smart answer is, no, I shaved an unsuspecting animal, dyed their fur, and weaved it into my hair. See? Looks pretty good, huh? Um, and then uh, the last question, and I'm actually going to add one more at the end that wasn't in the original video, um, is how long does it take to stand that up or fix it up? Um, it takes about an hour, but I prefer to just say something smart like, it stood up all by itself, kind of like a snake. Um, and the last question that I get asked um, more regularly, I've noticed, is how long have I actually had the mohawk? And I've had it for about nine years, and I've only cut it down once. If you look at the no hate photos, you'll see my first no hate picture that I did with Adam, where it's a short little blind mohawk, where I just freshly cut it off, I think the day before I did the photo shoot. Um, but in that nine year period, there's only been a few times that I've ever left my house with my mohawk down. A um, couple times I've put a hat on or done something to that effect, but it's part of who I am and it's part of, you know, a, it is, I guess, somewhat of a statement that I'm making. So it's uh, something that has to be up when I leave my house. It's part of me. So uh, hopefully this revision is clearer, easier to listen to, easier to understand, and not quite as smart Alec as the last one. Enjoy!